five first four x plus three is equal to what you see. Now the first thing we can do here is to say that five first power x plus three equals one fifty follows the form of a raised power m plus n is equal to a raised power m times a raised power n. And so here we have five raised power x times five raised power three is equal to this is one fifty is as two times three times five times five. Okay. Now from here we have five raised power x to be equal to two multiplied by three multiplied by five squared divided by five to the power of three. Okay. Now recall the log in this is that states that a raised power m divided by a raised power n is equal to a raised power m minus n. Hence we have five raised power x is equal to two multiplied by three times five raised to the power two minus three. Okay. Now this is now equal to five raised power x to be equal to two multiplied by three multiplied by five raised to the power negative one. Okay. Now from here we can now say that this is equal to five raised to the power x to be equal to two multiplied by three divided by five. Okay. So moving on from here we can say let's take the logarithm of both sides. So we take the logarithm of both sides in the base of five. Okay. Now, when you have this, you multiply the power with the log. So we have x multiplied by the log of five in base five is equal to here you split up and put plus. So we have logarithm in base five of two plus logarithm in base five of three plus logarithm in base five of five to the power of negative one. So from here we have that x multiplied by 5 to the power of log of 5 base 5 is 1. So x times 1 is x. This is equal to logarithm of 2 base 5 plus logarithm of 3 base 5 minus 1 times this is 1, alright? Times logarithm of 5 base 5 is 1. So we have 1. So we have that x becomes equal to logarithm of 2 base 5 plus logarithm of 3 base 5 minus 1. And this becomes the final answer. So that's for sure. Thanks for watching.